Another school district welcoming students back today is KDISD. The district's new cell phone policy is getting a lot of attention, has a lot of folks talking. The district says cell phones, Apple Watches, AirPods, Beats, well, they're all banned in every single classroom within the school during instructional time. Restrooms and locker rooms also. However, when students are allowed to use them, well, that's during non-instructional time, and that is up to each individual campus. KPRC2 reporter Rochelle Turner spent the morning at Nelson Junior High School. We all use our cell phones and smartwatches every day, but when it comes to using them inside of schools here in Katy, well, many parents and students have mixed feelings about it. I'm just kind of angry because, like, this is, I can't connect to my parents. What if there's another lockdown? That's reaction from one Katie ISD student after learning cell phones and other devices will not be allowed at his elementary school. I think we should be able to have app watches and cell phones and stuff as long as we don't use them just because it's helpful having an app watch on your wrist because you never know when you're going to need it. He and his sister are a little puzzled out of place because they feel like their devices uh -huh are part of their life. Their mom, Leah Richards, is against the policy. I think that the policy neglects the parent's ability to decide what's best for their child. It cuts off communication in a way that I think most people are a bit nervous about, or a lot of, maybe not most, but a lot of parents are nervous about. According to the district, elementary students are not allowed to use devices in non-instructional areas. Junior high students can use devices during lunch, but not during passing periods. And high school students can use devices during passing periods and lunch, depending on campus rules. I don't have an issue with his phone being put away. Um, that's where it should be. I can still track my child, it's on um, in silence, so I can still see where he is at at any given time. Heather Davis has a seventh grade student at Katy Junior High School and he is allowed to use his phone during lunchtime. Davis has confidence in the district's new policy. And I do believe firmly that in case of an emergency, which is my other concern, that my child will be allowed to use his phone. Um, I also have confidence in the school district that if, just as if when we were growing up, we didn't have cell phones. If I needed to go get a hold of my parents, you know, you go to the front office and you get a hold of your parents. And I still feel like my child will have the opportunity to do those things. If a student violates the policy, their devices will be confiscated and parents will have to pick them up. Reporting in Katy, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Rochelle, thank you. We've talked a lot about what this new cell phone policy looks like at KDISD, but we also have you covered for other districts. On our website right now, we have an article that talks about what the cell phone policies are at 18 other districts. You can find that by going to clicktohouston.com. Okay.